What does fearing God mean? Timothy Keller has a great quote on this, and here's what he says. The fear of the Lord is not terror, but instead, hear it, a life rearranging joyful awe and wonder before God. Isn't that great? A life rearranging joyful awe and wonder before God. He created you, you're heading to judgment. Realize there's a fear of the Lord that's appropriate. Oswald Chambers, the remarkable thing about fearing God is that when you fear God, you fear nothing else. And when you fear, and when you don't fear God, you fear everything else. Students, youth, young singles, young marriage, when you fear God with your money, with your friends, with your dating, with your morality, with your posts, with your clicks, when you fear God, you'll fear nothing else. But when you don't fear God, you'll fear everything else. And your whole life will be on what do you want me to do? 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 Until finally you end up with a life you don't even know if it's your life anymore because you've been doing what everybody else wants you to do. And instead you remember your creator. You take that nail and allow it to be strong in your life. He created you. You know his wisdom is right. You know fearing the Lord is right. And you know obeying God is right. You know obeying God is right. For every one of us, and it'll happen in all of our lives, not just a one-time thing, it's a journey. There'll be moments in your life that you will have to choose a hard path to obey God. And I'm telling you, when you look back five years later, you'll be so glad you did. Because you took that step to obey God. You maybe lost a friend over it. You maybe lost a deal over it. You maybe lost whatever you lost over it. But what you gained out of it was your character and who God has made you to be. I'll tell you, a real life example we're seeing right now is in the Ukrainian people standing strong. We were watching the news and I told my family that was there, I said, that lady's gonna have a statue when this whole thing's over because you could feel in her, I am standing for what I believe in no matter what. And we should pray for those people. You obey God. You remember your creator in your youth and you do what God wants you to do because you know his wisdom is true. You fear him and you don't fear anything else and you obey him. Hey, thanks for watching. To find out more about Houston's First, you can subscribe to our channel or you can go to houstonsfirst.org.